I've been thinking about buying a cargo ship. Is the freelancer base a good buy? How does it compare to other cargo ships? Welcome to another installment of a Star Citizen Ship Buyer's Guide. What's up citizens, this is Subliminal here again and today we'll be discussing the features, functions and benefits of the MISC Freelancer base with a comparison on how those features ranks amongst competing ships so you can make an informed buying decision. Let me know what ship you'd like to see next down in the comments. The ship with the most upvotes will be featured in a future episode. With that out of the way, let's get to it. The Freelancer base is a medium sized cargo ship manufactured by none other than Musashi Industrial and Starflight Concern or MISC for short. MISC is a human based company out of the Centauri system founded in 2805. The Freelancer base is one of four Freelancer variants. The Freelancer Max, Dur, and Miss are also available. Be sure to check out my buyer's guides on those in the description. The MISC Freelancer is primarily a long-range cargo hauler designed for shipping major corporations' goods around the verse. However, its modularity and versatility, as well as its considerable firepower, have seen it fill a number of roles including use as a smuggling ship and a long-range explorer. The Freelancer base is currently flight ready. It is available on the Pledge Store for purchase and upgrade for $110. It's part of a game package for $125 and on average sells for $128 on the gray market. It is not currently available for purchase with in-game credits. With that out of the way, let's see how it compares to other ships you might be considering. For comparison, I have handpicked 17 ships that I think could possibly be considered by someone looking to purchase a freelancer base. The following slides will feature the current ship's value and rank along with the names and values of the worst and best ships. A Google Sheets document with those ships and data are linked in the description. This information is sourced from multiple sources, some with conflicting data. I have chosen the data that I think is accurate. Information and thoughts reflect the current state of the ship and the persistent universe, not what will be possible in the future. Now let's see how it stacks up to the competition. The Freelancer comes in at around 220,000 kg. It has a max crew size of 5, a large cargo capacity of 66 SCU, it features a max yaw pitch rate of 65 degrees per second, an SCM speed of 205 meters per second, a decently fast 1,005 meter per second top speed, has over 19,000 hit points across its body, its shield generators can withstand just over 12,000 hit points of damage, its guns do just over 2,000 damage per second, and they have a theoretical DPS of over 2,200. It should be noted that DPS only matters if you can hit your target. Its missiles do just over 10,000 damage. Its fuel tanks hold 18,000 gallons of fuel. Its Odyssey Quantum Drive gives it a great 74 megameters per second quantum speed and a range of 107 gigameters. So it can travel from Port Alazar to Hurston 3.3 times before needing to refuel. Quantum travel from Port Alarzar to Hurston will take you about 7 minutes and 14 seconds, and leaving Hurston's atmosphere will take you about 4 minutes. Now let's talk about its firepower. The Freelancer base packs two PC2 Dual S3 mounts with two Tarantula GT870 Mark III's each. These Tarantulas have 552 physical damage with 47 RPM for a total of 432 DPS, and the 3800 meter range. In the rear, the Freelancer has one man turret with two size 2 M4A laser autocannons. These M4As have 320 energy damage with 50 RPMs for a total of 267 DPS and a 2700 meter range. In addition, its wings hold two size 4 MSD 423 missile racks with two size 3 Arrestor 3s each. Arrestor 3s are cross section, have 1500 mixed damage, a 3.89 second lock time, and over 9000 meter lock range. It also has two size 3 MSD 322 missile racks with two size 2 Ignite 2s each. Ignite 2s are infrared, have 948 mixed damage, and a 1.68 second lock time, and over a 5500 meter lock range. 
This is a total of 8 missiles. Let's talk about components. The standard components available on the Freelancer base are as follows. It has one size 2 grade C civilian class daybreak power plant, two size 2 grade C civilian class Frost Star EX coolers, one size 2 grade C civilian class Odyssey quantum drive with an 18 second cooldown after long jumps, and last but not least we have two size 2 grade C military grade 5MA Chimali shield generators. Let's take a look at the interior. The Freelancer base features a cargo bay big enough to comfortably fit at least three Greycat PTVs, two Drake Dragonflies, two Aopa Noxes, or 54 SCU in the rear. The rear turret access is located at the rear of the cargo hold. To the left and to the right are the components mentioned earlier. Moving on, we have a second cargo hold with the remaining 12 SCU of cargo space and a topside access port. The living quarters feature an espresso machine, a port side airlock, four bunk beds, a non-functioning MFD, and a head. The cockpit comes equipped with two engineering seats, with one MFD each. A co-pilot seat with five MFDs. and a pilot seat with five MFDs, although two are barely visible under your arms. It should be noted that the Freelancer does not currently come equipped with an eject feature. There's also a known bug that some ships with ladders have in 3.4 called the Ladder of Death. It is best to enter and exit through the cargo hold of the Freelancer to avoid being murdered. If you have cargo inside, walk around the right side. In closing, the Miss Freelancer base is a great medium-sized cargo ship. Its pros are a large 66 SCU of cargo capacity, it's nimble for its size, has fast quantum speeds, has a long QT range, and it has room for all of your friends. Its cons are reduced visibility from the cockpit, its missile payload is subpar, has a low max speed, currently has no ejection feature and a homicidal ladder. So is it worth a buy? With the $10 upgrade from the Cuddy Black for an additional 20 SCU of cargo capacity, it may be a good option for the citizen interested in a profession in trading. In turn, you lose some ability to be able to defend yourself. This may not be an issue for the citizen who has friends to play with. It should be noted also that the Freelancer Max is only $40 more for almost double the space and better weapons. But ultimately, that decision is up to you. Did you like this guide? Like it. Subscribe by hitting the bell and comment what ship you'd like to see featured in the next episode of a Star Citizen Ship Buyer's Guide. Until next time, citizens, I'll see you in the verse.